today on Country Squire Radio. We're talking tracking and packing, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. It's that, it's that time of year. It is that time of yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. We also have got a quick fire question. Nope. We've got a pipe question of the week all about how to deal with ghosting uh, of your pipe, specific tobacco uh, from a uh, a new uh, a club member. We got some club members to talk about, plus quick fire questions, listener feedback, and more happening right now <laughs> on Country Squire Radio. Welcome to Country Squire Radio. I'm Bo. And I'm John David. JD. Hey, Bo. Good morning, man. Good morning. Good, uh, good morning. Good, good afternoon. afternoon and, and good night. Didn't we determine that this is afternoon it's, because literally we start like one second? No, after you're the you're hour. right. It's good afternoon. Yeah. yeah that, it, that's that's the goal now. It, it qualifies. Yeah. It counts. We, we don't we don't get there very often. No. But, uh <laughs> I tell you what, man. This this beautiful Monday uh, day that we are enjoying right now. Uh, earlier today, this morning, in the morning, uh, several of our uh, patrons and and club members were all. Woken up, you know how you have the uh, beep 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 of the uh, the, the side uh, alarm clock. Yeah, you're talking about the alarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we 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 instead of the beep beep beep, they got the buzz. buzz oh, buzz. they're they're emails. They're emails. Right, yeah. For are, are we uh, we treated them to email uh <laughs> email uh <laughs> Hades this morning. Yeah, yeah. But they just this is again an ongoing thing that's going to happen just for a short period of time. Just a we, short period of time as we catch up on our old uh, episodes. Correct. Yeah, and you know it's it's really funny because you know and for those that aren't aware the um you know for those that support the show be it through the uh, the the pipe club or, or as patrons uh one of the benefits is you get access to our full 100 uh early, first 100 episode archive of country squire radio and for the longest time that's been not available uh, up until uh, now we're actually going through the process of re-uploading that to a feed uh that that these people that are supporting us at patreon.com slash country squire radio can get and uh, it's interesting because, you know, as a result of the the attack that actually originally took these episodes away, we lost a lot of the data, like a lot of the descriptions yeah. and that sort of thing. No, that's right. Yeah. Of course, if, if you're not familiar, of course, the site was hacked and we lost a lot of these old episodes, but we were able to get them back, but not not some of the ancillary stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, it, it, it just reminds me about like how in the early days I was so meticulous about like listing the file name and making yeah. sure everything was good. And now it's just kind of like, what's the date? You know, like <laughs> and so as I was uploading those first, like, you know, 10, 20, 25 episodes, like it's like, OK, everything's all nice. And, you know, this is oh, yeah this was this was our first heroes of the bowl or oh this was the origins of where the you know of what eventually the white rose would become like this is all like yeah. here right yeah. and then it's like tobacco talk with no descripting factors of which well, tobacco you know, it kind of reminds me of course i you know <laughs> me and my wife we haven't you know been blessed with children but like you know it kind of reminds me of those parents that are like well you know you have the first kid and you really want to take really good care of them you, you know and, that, and and so you're making sure everything's sanitized and all buttoned up right and, and you know that second kid you're kind of well you know you can fudge on a few things and the third kid you're like ah, eh, just throw them in the back seat with some peanuts they'll figure yeah, it out we're right? on like our, between i think we're on like our 12th kid at this point like, yeah. like it's no, like oh, right. what's this one's name okay yeah yeah it's good. it's that point where you know some people see how many kids you have and they're like well that's one way to live your yeah. life right <laughs> Exactly. But anyway, all that to say, we've got uh, some great new episodes that are out uh, today, and we'll have 10 more episodes going out to those folks on Wednesday as well. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, man. Uh, also kind of exciting. You know, we, we mentioned uh, last week, I believe this made it to the actual podcast, but uh, we've got things set up for our live show a little bit differently, as, as has been the case from week to week. Uh, and so, you know, you've been able to see our lovely faces and we've gotten some great feedback on that, which I can't wait to share the listener feedback. Have we really? Yeah. Just from that? People like us. Kind of. I mean, like, you they're, know, they thought they liked us. They're still well medicated. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was <laughs> the benefit much, of too the Too much night eggnog. Show. Yeah. That was a bit of the night shows. People were, were, were drinking and then tuning in. And right. And they're like, so right. we're like, what is this what show? What is it? I've given my life to this for years. <laughs> this is <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So. Uh, That's fantastic. One other housekeeping item I want to yeah. make mention of. Uh, so last week we talked, of course, we got the, the best of 2018 episode that's coming up very, very quickly. Yes, indeed. Uh, all of the nominations are in. And I said last week the voting would be up. And I had every intention for that to be the case. Uh, however, uh, we we are going to have that up this week for sure. It, it will be this it week. It will be this it, week. It, for sure. it will. Yes. It will very soon. I won't go into whose fault it is that it's not up. Uh, but but regardless, it will be up this week. It, 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 his initials are are John David Cole. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah it's, it's there not, may or may not be reasons. Yeah. Your fault, someone's fault, whoever's fault. It doesn't even matter, but it was your fault. But it was my fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's just go ahead and assign blame. I, you know, I feel like you get all the blame for the technical I stuff. All the blame. <laughs> well, I mean, we got to, we got to share some of this. You know, I, I, I want my brother to feel like he's in this, you know, neck deep with someone else. Yeah. Right? yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for, uh, thanks for jumping on the grenade on this one. Uh, it, it, occasionally we need, we need it to be my fault when things go awry. I do get some praise from time to time. I was actually on the Maple City Pipecast uh, this yeah, last Yeah, man, episode. I was so gr- I was so glad to see that. Yeah, yeah. Man. It, it was uh, that was really a good. Did go go well and everything? Oh, seemed like man. it did. Big time. We we had a blast talking. It was actually really fun that uh, when we when we recorded, it was while we were testing the current setup. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, man, this is technically the first like Country Squire recording. Oh, dude, ever. was that when you were sitting right, yeah, over right there? there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, what is Bo doing over there? I just figured you were kind of testing this area, but it wound up being like, no, he's in a he, he's doing a real interview. This is the problem, though, with this. Like when, when you have me on your show, you need to know what you're getting involved in. I mean, I speak for a list a, like a living. And so I look down his episodes and like my episode, his episode with me is like, Five times as long as everybody else. <laughs> so they bad. had to like increase their uh, ser- server, server space or whatever. <laughs> Right, yeah. j- just for that, yeah. That, they'll probably cost. wind up, uh, what, what do they call it, uh, zipping that one up. I yeah, 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 yeah. Like clipping <laughs> it on down and everything. But man, what's going on around shop, dude? Uh, yeah, you know, it's just been really busy. We had uh, had a, a drop of Esoterica come in last week, and um, oh, you know man. that that was always interesting. You know, it's one of those things where, um, it, you know, it, it it's already crazy this time of year, and then it just Brace adds yourselves. adds to the insanity. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, got lots of uh, lots of chaos. Yeah, y- you know, it's funny. Here we are, uh, a week literally literally a week and a day before Christmas as we record. Uh, and the, uh, the folks that are doing the reconstruction, the renovation of our shopping center, uh, just decided that this is go time. Yeah. And, and all over the place right now, man it is out of control. So every day I come in, you know, we're, eat, we're just covered up with customers, the phones ringing, the doorbells, you know, jingling and all this stuff. And folks are calling with lots of questions and, 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 and the, the, you know, uh, foreman and the, you know, construction guys there, yeah. they, they come in and are like, man, we just, uh, you know, we were told this was the best day to replace your front door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know who told you that, but you know, they were, you know, eating paint chips <laughs> <laughs> and so man it's just uh yeah it's been kind of challenging you know got a lot of a lot of that kind of stuff They're going ripping on up your but parking lot too, ripping up our parking yeah. lot man we've lost water a couple times i feel so sorry well, for the Jackson. well we didn't know yeah. that's that is part of it but uh, <laughs> i feel so sorry for the coffee shop next door cups yeah. who we you know good friends over there and uh you know they they literally sell water to to pay the bills right they, they're mm-hmm. selling flavored water and and you know when you uh cut the water off that that's kind of a big deal so um, anyway, but yeah, things are great, man. It's, uh, it, it's really exciting. Been moving a lot of pipes, a lot of pipe tobacco, got some, uh, for our local uh, customers, got some pipe tobacco samplers that we've put together to kind of, uh, you know, just be an easy grab and go gift, some of our favorites and, and good sellers. And so, um, yeah, man, things are good. Things good. are good. I, you know, this is a time of year that you just kind of have to embrace the, the chaos, embrace the insanity <laughs> oh gosh, yes. and, uh, and, and just, just drink deep from the, uh, you know, the, the, the well. <laughs> the, 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 well, the well of insanity <laughs> I, that, that, that sounds like an H.P. Lovecraft book and it, does, and, and it might be yeah. it, it might be Cthulhu the, the, instead of the mountains of madness it's the <laughs> it, it's the uh, uh, pipe tobacco of uh, despair yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, or man, hope right <laughs> I, you know there, there's there, there uh, hopefully we are, are uh, combating despair by, by bringing a little bit of joy and uh, in the in the weekly year of, we do of that all occasionally we try yeah. to we yeah. try to and uh and you know we y'all have been so kind many of you have been supporting the show as i mentioned at the top of the show we've got two brand new uh country squire radio club members well one brand new and one kind of upgrade if you will oh that's good yeah man yeah. so uh a, 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 originally a pilgrim now a squire we've got derek uh Jarn- jarnigan Yes. Uh, he was he was jarned so much, she jarned again. He jarned again. He jarned again. Good, Derek, thanks, man. I'm so <laughs> glad you uh th- thanks for stepping up and uh and supporting us at the at the at the new level. That's Absolutely. Awesome. And he's got a great uh, question for us this week as okay. well. Okay. Uh we also have Kevin Modlin. So Kevin apparently uh he builds these model ships. Oh, well, I was gonna go in a different direction. Like okay. like oh know, he's a model. Like he was a model. He he uh. be modeling. Kevin B. Modlin. Yeah. Like if his middle initial was B, his name would be Kevin B. Modlin. Kevin B. Modlin. It might be B. Yeah. What, what if his name is like, yeah. Kevin, get on that. Let us know. If your name is, if your middle name begins with a B. We want to know. We want to know. Maybe and, he can model some of those things we talked about with uh, Levine. 
Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kevin. We don't want to drag Kevin we, into that. We don't no. want to, why, why would we? That's why a, would I'm we? sure he's a nice guy. has a has a brilliant future ahead. We hey, don't want to. Right. We and don't. a squire to boot. So we thank do. you so much That's for sponsoring great. or for Absolutely. supporting the show, rather, uh, and becoming part of the Country Squire Radio International uh, Pipe Club. Um, Where can people do that? If they, they can, of course, do that. At, thank you very much. Patreon.com slash Country Squire Radio yep. or Country Squire Radio.com. I, I, I almost kind of want to mention one more thing before yeah. going into it, but, okay. but we really shouldn't. It's some of the stuff we've been working on. Like, and I've seen some mock-ups today and, and, and it just, did it make me, you excited? It got me real excited. Okay. Well, don't show it on yourself. Oh, what, no. you, you need to, you know, I mean, you know, do what you need to do. No, 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 no. Okay. An we'll eye, wait a little keep bit. Keep an eye on Facebook and Twitter. All right. All right. Good. No, that's good. That's good. We got some fun stuff coming. Ow! Okay, man. <laughs> Speaking of fun stuff, man, we got a fun episode for yeah. you today. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, longtime listeners of the show know that about this time of year, we have a uh, regular, relatively reoccurring uh, series called Tracking and Packing. Now, this series was born out of the holiday season, looking at the it's fact the that holiday season. people would be truing a lot of traveling. A -do. And people need to <laughs> oh my gosh. hang up your sock. Ba, 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 ba. How do you do this when I sing and you're like you keep your focus? It's amazing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, go, go ahead. So, <laughs> so we got we got people moving around, tracking and packing. That's right, man. Yeah, they're tracking it back. They're they're traveling and they're looking for ways to uh, you know keep all their pipes and accessories with them. But the beautiful thing is. That's not something that just happens during the holidays. That's something that happens in life. Yeah. Uh, any longtime pipe smoker or even really a short time pipe smoker knows <laughs> that as soon as you pick up the pipe, you're going to need all your various accessories and you can't just travel with one. You got to have the whole team together. Yeah. That's what tracking and packing is all about. No, that's right. We love we love visiting this every year. And I, I tell you, it, it it's so much fun because uh, it, this happens regularly, right? As a new pipe smoker, people think, well, you know, I'm going to get into pipe smoking and, oh, well, there's all these awesome knickknacks that you have to collect and, and have to smoke your pipe. And uh, th this happened this past week. Someone came in and they literally had a crumpled up brown bag that looked like you'd get like your, your bottle of whiskey at the liquor store. Oh, yeah, they put yeah. it, you know, in the package or whatever. And uh, and it looked like maybe it had been stepped on a few times, crumpled under the back seat, and, and, that, and that's where they kept all their stuff. And they're like, look, I'm, I'm enjoying this pipe stuff. Stuff, but man, I, you know, I, I got to look a little more respectable than this. And people, <laughs> people come in, their wives are even getting on them everything. because, yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they're significant other getting on them because they, uh, you know, look like, you know, you know, those, those, uh, old cartoon moonshine jugs yeah. that have like the XXX on it. It looks like the, that would go in the bag. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And instead they have their, uh, you know, their new $120, uh, Peterson or whatever. And so it's legit. It's uh, classy. No, that's right. The that's right. Packaging method or so, traveling method, not so much. We like to explore this, you know, it's just kind of, kind of fun, help people uh, figure out some, some cool ways to carry their pipe gear. And uh, we are knickknack people. We've, we've discussed that uh, ad infinitum, how, how pipe smokers are, uh, you know, like, like the widgets, we like the little things to tinker with and all the paraphernalia, you know, cigar guys are like that too. Uh, it, it's just with pipe guys, we have so much more, right. That there's more tools involved to, and uh, you know, and so we have to have ways to, to, to tote these things. And um, you know, this, we're going to start this up. So I'm calling this episode, the, um, the <laughs> oddly enough, the year of the toiletry kit. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. The year. You know, of the there's like the our friend, our Chinese friends that have their beautiful calendar. They have like the year of the the goat or the sure. uh, the duck or yeah, I don't even know. I'm just naming Monkey animals. I'm just a dragon. I'm just I'm naming animals at this point. Yeah. The yeah. pig. The, the 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 pig. The dog. The dog or rat. But like you know, so we we have the year of the toiletry kit here at Country Squire wow. Radio, and um, you know, it, it it's been neat I because I want to open up that fortune cookie. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, you know, it, it it's cool because we've got uh, a lot of folks that, um, you know, do like the fancier things to keep their pipe stuff yeah. in, right? So uh, what, one of the things that we've talked about, uh, you've oogled at before oh, uh, here on the yes. show, of course, this is my uh, Soren Al and Sons um, uh, beautiful leather roll up. You know, it's got my uh, initials on it. We've talked about this on the show before. And of course, uh, the gentleman that does these, you can find his shop on Etsy, beautiful piece. This is probably uh, one of the most well-known and premium uh, pipe-related leather goods on uh, th that's available today. And of course, the, you know this beautiful option is going to be again more expensive, a uh, little little more complicated, but but really worth it. Um, I actually I actually ended up uh, in kind of a similar situation. So I, I my my wife when yeah. we were first uh, dating back in the day yeah um, and this was early on in our relationship. She gave me a gift of a leather-bound journal. 
Oh yeah, which is which is great because I don't think she to knew... write all your really uh, pompous thoughts in. Well, I don't write. You know, I'm dyslexic, so I mean, I don't really write with pen and paper. If it doesn't have autocorrect, it just doesn't happen. Should, yeah, should have gotten you a leather bound like uh, uh, you know, uh, voice recorder. Right. <laughs> well, so I carry, but I kept it forever because the sentimental values. The first gift she ever gave me. Yeah. And also just a reminder of how in the early days she really didn't know what she was getting into. <laughs> and, uh, but actually just a, a couple weeks back, I actually, um, took off the leather jacket and I realized, well, you know what, you can convert this into a nice little, like, you know, wraparound thing like you got right there. Absolutely. And yep. so I kind of, I kind of converted it to, to do a little similar people, type. People deal. do that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you got your, your classy roll up, you know, it might even have your initials embossed on it or something like that. Um, one, one thing we have talked about, um, I think a couple years ago is the, uh, fourth generation, uh, messenger bag, uh, beautiful, you know, comes in, uh, black, uh, uh, this uh, kind of saddle brown color. And then I think they have a blue now too, which is really attractive, but um, you know, magnetized again, uh, what's that now? Magnetized, right? Uh, it is magnetized. Yeah. yeah. The, the front flap, if you can imagine a messenger bag, if you're not watching, uh, has a kind of a magnet closure on it. And uh, you know, you open it up and there's loops for pipes and uh, tins and a place to put your tablet, uh, you know, computer and things like that. So, you know, uh, again, really cool, classy options for this, but, but here in the year of the toiletry kit, okay, um, you know, we, we, we're kind of, we're, we're stepping it down a little bit yeah and, and you know the thing is i found <laughs> I, I i've actually i've actually gotten really nice um uh high quality prints here uh, of things that we'll uh discuss but you know i have seen over and over folks come in and they're just uh they're they're uh, it seems like a lot of folks are kind of over some of the uh some of the fancy thing they just want something extremely yes. extremely functional very um you know low-key just something that they can you know, throw around and not worry about kind of deal. And it seems like uh, our heaviest pipe smokers now and, and the guys that are um, not just in, you know, enthusiasts, but are, are um, day to day guys, right? They are looking for something that's inexpensive that they can abuse. And that's incredibly functional. Wow. And, and, and so that's why I titled this the year of the toiletry kit. Uh, for for tracking and packing because there's there, there's so many great uh you know things out there if you just go to your local Target or, or Walmart <laughs> uh -huh. and, and go down that little aisle they've got with all the goofy little knickknacks for like you know gentlemen they they, they you know it, it's almost like walking through a hipster's closet kind of thing right, when you right, go down right. there well there's all they've got these little like toilet shaving kits. kit and everything yeah no that's yeah. it and um and so there's some there's some really good options one of the uh, most complicated ones and um uh, and one that I think would be uh, you know, good if you've got just a whole bunch of things that you need to keep separated. Of course, this is the uh, uh, nature hike uh, outdoors, uh, you know, kind of thing. Uh, it's just a something you can hang on your, um, you know, the back of your closet door or something like that. But it's got all these kind of sideways pockets you can lay stuff in and, uh, you know, places. It's also got a really nice handle uh, and things on top when you close it up. And so uh, something that opens up, it's kind of like that uh, really nice Soren Allen Sons uh you know, um, roll up, but it's just, you know, we're talking about a, you know, a vinyl or maybe a canvas thing that yeah, you can sure. poke a lot of stuff in. So really inexpensive, you know, something like this might go for 15 or 20 bucks. And I've seen several guys walk in the shop now with, uh, with, with, with something that looks like this. Do they, I mean, when they bust it open, do they really like unravel the entire thing? They do, oh, they, wow. they do. And so it, you know, it, it, that's, that's one option that's going to take up more space. Obviously it might not be as functional if you're, uh, you know, running around town or something, but if you're going, uh, maybe camping or you're going, uh, uh, you know, to a place to set up shop for a while. Maybe you're coming to the Squire and you're going to uh, sit down and not move for a long period of time. Well, you roll this joker out on the table in front of you and it's got, you know, every little thing you could ever want. Maybe you keep uh, several tins of tobacco in there and, and deals like that. Um, uh, something that is similar, you've got ones now that kind of, um, I'm going to try really hard to describe this uh, for people that are not uh uh, watching live, but um, imagine, you know, these toiletry kits that kind of, uh, they're in the shape of almost like a box, but then they open up with a, something that a big flap on the back that maybe you can hang on the back of a door or something like that. And so the big flap itself uh, that you might hang on the door, it's got uh, multiple compartments and, and slots, but then the bottom part is like a, like a box. These are really popular. You can get them uh, really good ones online for, you know, let's say 30 bucks. Um, and the great thing that the, the reason I think people favor these is that that bottom box portion uh, has a whole lot of loops in it, Lo oh, loops yeah. for things like scissors and, uh, you know, razors and, um, you know, uh, combs and things, of, things of that and grooming products. Right. And so those loops, what are the loops perfect for? Well, they're perfect for your pipe. And yeah. so uh, I've seen those so often this year. I mean, people coming in and 
um, and, and repurposing these large toiletry kits for that. So if, as a matter of fact, if you go uh, Amazon, eBay, or just Google, uh, and you just uh, you know Google large toiletry kit, you'll find this stuff. And uh, I'm telling you, I, you know, as a, as someone that sits on my side of the counter over and over this year, I've seen people bring these kind of things in, uh, full of their pipe stuff. And so, uh, again, for our, you know, uh, live viewers, I don't know if you can really see that, but um, just you know, one one option for you, um, you know, some of them even have like, uh, you know slings on them that you can put kind of over your shoulder almost like a messenger bag but there's some really really nice this one is actually from ll bean uh so you so okay. you can you can get something you know decent that maybe uh you, you know get a name brand yeah you get your name brand yeah. uh toiletry kit there which is which is nice it's like a dot um, kit that's it, right well it, it is and speaking of dot kits like the traditional dot kit uh we have that that almost looks like a little ammo bag you know yeah. a little square uh, brick bag of course we've talked about this on the show before uh seeing more and more of this as well um and um it, which is kind of nice a lot of times they come in kind of a waxed canvas or something um you know just a real uh simple dop kit that uh looks uh, almost like a like a little brick um, you know, it opens typically from one end to other if you're going over the rectangle of the dop kit. Uh, a lot of times they'll have a nice, uh, you know, leather uh, strap or something like that. But really, really handy. Basically, this is one large or typically anyway, this is one large compartment. And so it's just like a canvas, you know, rectangle. Uh, that's one large compartment. You throw all your stuff in there. And, um, you know, is it going to take the best care of all your pipe stuff and keep them organized? Yeah. No, but boy, is it functional. Yeah. And boy, you don't have to worry about it. And, you know, particularly it's got room in here for you to keep your pipes um, in their pouches, right? You can keep them in their socks and so they won't, uh, you know, rub together and things like that. I would recommend that if you've got nice pipes. But, um, you know, th these are nice. There's a whole bunch. You can get one of these for 10 bucks that actually look pretty decent. And, uh, and they go on up from there. You've rolled around with one of those in the past. Um, or who I, I have not. Really have you, that, you know uh, who's who's got one that uses it all the time. Briar it, it, is is Briar. Yep. yep and uh, it, it it looks like uh, maybe he you know ran over it with his car a few times by now. I mean, well, he might he may have. If you've been actually. inside his car, it looks about like it looks. Right. No, it, it looks like it's been inside his car. Right. Not 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 run over by it, but actually inside yeah. it. Um. So finally, th this is one of my favorite. Um. This is actually one of my favorite uh, things. So, you know, it, I, I failed. I meant to bring it on the show with me today, but I have a leather, oh. a very simple leather uh, pouch that was made by Danny Vasquez with uh, Bird and Bear Pipes. Yeah. Beautiful pouch. Um, and it's um, it, it, it favors, if you think like a, of a um, the old fashioned uh, kind of canvas money bag or bank bag that you'd put your uh, deposit in to take to the to the banker you know anyone who's worked retail knows exactly you know what you, you're you know that yeah, you know the, the money pouch right that you that you you know put your deposit in take to the bank um you know it's just a, like a canvas bag maybe uh i don't know 10 by 6 or something like that that uh or maybe 12 by 12 by 8 that you would uh you know zip the top up of and uh, so danny made these things it's actually kind of a uh, it's got a instead of a zip it's a flap that goes over um but you know they make a lot of really nice uh, iterations of this right that you would use for pipe stuff danny and other folks uh, i think it seems like crack and leather might have some or uh, I, i'm sure uh you know our our friends at soar now they've probably got some similar to that as well huh. um I, one of our one of our customers and actually a, a good friend of the show um two combs he came in the other day and he found uh this you know basically a money pouch bank bag looking thing but I, I think it was you know sold as like maybe a small toiletry bag or something like that but um he found it at Walmart. He paid all of two dollars and fifty cents for it, and it was just a just a perfect little pouch, <laughs> wow, right? A yeah. perfect little pouch, and uh, it just kind of a waxed. Um, I, it probably wasn't canvas. It was probably like a some kind of nylon or synthetic thing. But huh. but what what's what's cool about this? Again, we're just talking like a a simple zipper pouch, right? That that's all it is, just a zipper pouch. Um, it, you think about this. What's great? Um, you know, nowadays, what do, what do folks in the pipe uh, community and, and really all around, we, we like to collect things, right? Well, what are things, what are, what is one thing that uh, a lot of folks are collecting nowadays? Patches. Big time. They're collecting patches, right? We've seen patches for everything. There's patches for uh, Corn Cob Nation. There's patches for uh, Dagner Poker Pipes, our friends at the International Lunting Society. A you know, uh, it's a thing. Everyone's got a patch, right? It's just everywhere. And everyone. So, so almost what, everyone. What's so almost, almost, almost. almost. And so what, what's so cool about this is you can actually take 
uh, what you've got here, this little pouch, this zipper pouch, and it's the perfect way to, you know, everyone's like, what am I going to do with these pad? People collect them, mm -hmm. but you know, it's modern day. A lot of folks, when you see them uh, using, you know, they'll have these pouches, these patches, uh, and when they're smoking their favorite pipe and drink, and you know, uh, they've got their drink laid out and all this stuff, they don't know what to do with their patch, so they just kind of put it up there in the in the photo, right? right? Because right, right. Well, what am, I, I like this patch, I'm glad I have it, but what am I going to sew this on, right? Well. You have your zipper bag that's made of canvas to sew your patch yeah, on, yeah, or iron it, as I am told they do. No, mm. so, so, yeah, some of them you can you some can, them iron, you can on. iron. Yeah, on. so but but th but that's it, and so you have this great way to uh you know put your uh it, it's almost like you know when you put your sticker on the back of your you know laptop or oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well now you've got an actual place to put all those patches that you've collected, and it's on your uh, your canvas zipper bag with holding all your pipe stuff. What a cool idea! Um, so anyway, just just some ideas. Yeah, I think uh, again the uh, the year of the uh, uh, you know the the, the toiletry kit. It kind of has its own. Uh, you know, I I think there's some some merit there, and and it's a really inexpensive way to kind of get something that's incredibly functional. Uh, you know, frankly, that you don't have to worry about. My my my, Matt. I, I feel like the turn, like like it's so interesting because you you sit at a very unique seat in the industry, uh, being someone who obviously you know you own you own a pipe shop. You're able to, to to experience the trends, but you're also plugged in. You're plugged in globally. You're plugged in nationally, but you're also like hyper plugged in locally. So you're able to like view the trends as they literally walk in and out the door. It's just kind of weird, you know. People people come and go. We sell obviously a lot of things that we have an interest in in selling sure. because uh, you know that's how we pay our bills. But people come in with these creative solutions. Like, why didn't I think of that? Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's brilliant. One of, it's one of those things. I bet that a lot of people may have thought of that. But maybe there, there might be a little ego going in that. Because I remember a couple of years ago, like for tracking and packing, it was like, here's this deluxe leather case. And like, here's like it was right. all of like this high end stuff. No, that's it. That's and, it. And so and, you know, we showed some of that today, right? Yeah. yeah. No, and, and it's beautiful stuff. But it, it's it's always interesting that like, you know, what's going in? You know, what are the trends? We should start doing like a, a mid-year trends. Like, where are the trends right now of the year? That's probably, yeah, you know that's I mean? smart. I kind of like that. Like, what, what are people buying? Like, uh, you know, you think of different pipe shapes that become, um, you know, popular for even a small season, right? You got people that are buying certain brands for a very yeah. small season. Uh, maybe there's a limited edition thing that kind of catches uh, the market by storm and then it's over in 15 minutes. I, I, <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you, but I, I think there's something to be said. People are looking for you know, especially the seasoned, experienced, everyday pipe smoker, uh, you know, they're looking for something incredibly simple uh, that's just functional. They're like, man, I've got all these knickknacks and widgets and and fun things, but now I just kind of want to smoke my pipe and not focus on something that's so uh, complicated or expensive. Like, what, what can I just get that it's going to help me with all this stuff? And so a lot of times it's just, uh, you know, your little toiletry bag. That's good. How about that? That's good. All right. So I'm kind of curious, though, given the fact that you do experience this, see all this going down. Are you able to like predict what the trends are going to be? And I'm not saying be a trend setter per se, but as someone who's kind of seen the waves go back and forth, like right. if if 2018 was the year of the toiletry bag, right? What is 2019? Wow. What do you think 2019 will be the year of? I don't know if I have that kind of uh, crystal ball. Um, you, you know, I, I think I, I think I think it could be the year of maybe the corn cob. Interesting. Yeah. All right. The year of the corn cob. The year of the corn cob. The, the children of the corn cob will be. That's right. Born in the 2019. <laughs> I, I, I'm really trying to make a transition here. No, 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 no. I know. And, 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 I, and I don't think I'm helping facilitate. <laughs> The, the way I thought it would work, you know, you, but you're trying to wear my hat. I, I, I was trying. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was trying to grow that hair. You can't wear this hat. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I can't really um, I can't really think of, uh, you know, what what we're going to uh, see. I, you know, honestly, just hadn't really given a lot of thought to it. So, well, uh, yeah, it'd be interesting. I'd, I'd be you know, what we ought to do is open that up for some of our, our listeners. And ooh, viewers. That's like, good. Yeah. Man, what do you, what do you see as the pipe trend for, for uh, 2019? Year. Yeah, well, man, that's good. That's good. I, I'd like the feedback on that. I like that we went with a little uh, some some budget friendly tracking and packing this year. It's always it's always good to kind of go into uh, into that that uh, space because it is something that we all kind of have to deal with in terms of when we're traveling. What pipes am I going to bring? How am I going to get everything from point A to point B? Uh, and and also just beyond that, getting in from day to day. Also, we uh, <laughs> want to make sure that uh, you're aware that you know if you're if you're somebody who likes to shop on a budget, maybe you need uh, maybe it's not that you don't want that crazy leather um gold encrusted jewel rigged 
a, a pipe carrying case. No, that's right. Maybe, maybe you just, you know, all you can afford is, is something that, uh, you know, is a little bit on the, on the lower price, but still high quality, but still high quality, which is what you got this week. And if you're going to do that, why not also find a good quality pipe for a great price? That's also wonderful quality. And that of course is the pipes you can get from our good friends at Missouri Mirror Oh, that, and that's, and that's how you do a transition right there. <laughs> right about way. No, that's right. Yeah. Uh, man, of course we, we love our, uh, the pipes that we, uh, smoke and sell from Missouri Mirror <laughs> They're such a great, uh, asset for anyone, especially someone that's trying to grow their pipe collection and have a nice rotation. Uh, this year, a lot of folks, you know, they're going to have some extra time off. They're going to be sampling uh, new tobaccos that they've either been gifted or uh, have purchased to uh, go with some of their time off. Maybe you're uh, sipping some of your favorite whiskey by the campfire. And, uh, and, and you know, you're thinking, man, I've got all these new tobaccos to try. What am I going to try them out of? And of course, a, a delicious clean smoke, uh, something that's inexpensive and, and very uh, readily available. Those are great pipes from Missouri Meerschaum. They uh, <laughs> have a, have an outstanding, uh, you know, corn cob breed that they uh, grow themselves there in Washington, Missouri and manufacture some of the, uh, some of the coolest smoking pipes. Uh, and of course, an incredibly historic brand. Uh, love them. We smoke them and, and, and we believe in them and, uh, and, and we highly recommend them. And I mean, I don't travel without one. I mean, that's, that's just, yeah. that is just the God's honest truth. Yep. If I'm traveling, I'm bringing a Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe with me. Yep. All right. There we go, man. Pipe question of the week this week coming in from, again, Derek J., uh, a new uh, Squire member of the Country Squire Radio International Pipe Club. He says, uh, hey, guys, my order of all Lord of the Rings tobaccos. Uh, uh, hang on, let me let me actually take that from the top, Mike. <clears throat> Mike, of course, our amazing editor who uh, makes the sounds professional every single week. Right, in spite of ourselves. Yeah, not professional live show. We're, we're on our own on that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Pipe question of the week coming in this week from Derek J, the new uh, Squire member of the International Country Squire Radio Pipe Club. Yep. Uh, he says, hey, guys, got my order of all the Lord of the Rings tobaccos, and I must say the Rivendell is a fine tobacco. Uh, my question is this. I tried Oriental Express from Cornell and Deal, and while the smoke, uh, while the smoky Oriental goodness was great while I was smoking it, the flavor is ghosting in a big way. Yeah. Anything I can do about it to make the ghost flavor go away. Merry Christmas. And again, this is from Derek J. Derek, a great question, man. I think, um, you know, that's something the occasionally ghost of tobacco's past. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. The ghost of tobacco's past. You know, you've got uh, a tobacco that maybe wasn't in your wheelhouse that you smoked out of a pipe that uh, you use for other things. And of course, that flavor is lingering there. Um, you know, OK, we, we could do this a couple ways. Right. Uh, I'm stubborn. And a lot of times when that happens uh, and I, I do smoke it out of a pipe that does ghost, uh, I'll just power through until the, the flavor eventually goes away Yeah, because I don't want to have <laughs> to think about cleaning it. Right. And so right. I, I, I take, uh, you know, many, 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 many <laughs> bowls of my uh, favorite tobacco that I would like to smoke out of that pipe mm -hmm. and just smoke it until uh, it kind of covers up. If you're stubborn and, um, I want to do that. You know, the, the saying goes, if you're stupid, you have to be twice as uh, tough and work twice as hard. And, and so that that's one option for you. Um, you know, the, the other option is going to be uh, some type of, uh, you know, solution or cleaning method. Right. And so we're mm. talking about the salt, uh, the, the salt method or even something as, um, you know, simple as uh, some type of alcohol based pipe sweetener or something. Uh, if you want to start simply uh, get you some Everclear, uh, scrub your, uh, you know, pipe out really good with something like that. Just, uh, you know, you can buy a bottle of Everclear and a pint um, for, um, you know, less than $10. Scrub that joker out real good. Uh, let it sit for a couple of days. You want to dip your pipe cleaner in there and just get it really, really good. If that doesn't work, if it leaves it ghosted for uh, a while longer, um, you know, let's try the salt method. Uh, take your... Um, Take some kosher sea salt, something that's got some uh, some heft to their granules. Poke them in there. Uh, maybe let it let the pipe sit up in a rice bowl. Um, I'm trying to remember how to do this because it's been a while since we've discussed it. Um, but you know, you'll put some uh, some type of alcohol based solution in to the salt. Make sure it doesn't get on the finish. Uh, leave that sitting upright in your little bowl for uh, a day, and then uh, you know, clean it out real good scrub it out real good and then uh and then burn it a lot of times that's going to get rid of that residual flavor and uh and in essence reset your pipe and so um you know a good reaming can help um you know i would start simple and go and 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 go from there so that's uh that's just some some options for you you know i, I was just curious do, do local tobacconists offer kind of a pipe resetting or something of that, like drop off your pipes, let the local tobacconist reset it and, you know, pick it up for a couple bucks. You know, like yeah, we, we do uh, occasionally, I guess, you know, since we've moved in our new shop, I don't have, 
um, our area set up yet for that, right? You don't have the chemistry set up. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> most old fashioned smoke shops, is, uh, including the Country Squire, we uh, generally can restore a lot of pipes on site. Now, some things we have to send off to do. We can't, uh, you know, I don't have the expertise or the equipment sure, to sure. Uh, replace tenons or broken stems or things of that nature. But uh, if it's polishing and buffing, uh, you know, a lot of times we can do that on site, cleaning, reaming. Um, and things of that nature. And so I have done that in the past. Right now, we're not set up to do it. But um, if you are fortunate enough to be close to an old fashioned pipe shop, uh, you know, give those folks a call. And of course, there's all kinds of uh, uh, great pipe resources online. I think of folks like Tim West, uh, who is a, a pipe maker, but also does a lot of pipe restorations. Uh, our, our good friend Reborn Pipes uh, mm, in, mm. in Canada, uh, you know, that uh, is just a real pro with this. We've got some other hobbyists that are that are listeners that do it as well. So, um, yeah, check those things out. I, I, I think uh, one of those methods may help you. All right. Great question, Derek. And hey, if you've got a question for us, be sure to send it into the show at show at countrysquireradio.com. All right, man. So quick fire questions. All right. Here we go, man. <laughs> Ooh, holidays. I'll throw me off. Uh, all right. So here we go. This is actually from, I'll tell you what, actually, Mike, I'm sorry. I have to ask you to do this, buddy. Let me take that one from the top. You try it again? Yeah, yeah try it again. That's no, good. Bo hadn't had enough coffee yet. Oh, I really haven't. <laughs> all right, man. Quick fire questions. Ow! All right, man. Here we go. This is coming in from Trout Whisper. Uh, these are Alaskan themed uh, uh, questions. Have you been to Alaska? I have not. I've never been. I'd like to go. The only time that I really felt like compelled to go was like for a brochure. It was a cruise Alaska. Yeah. No, that that's what I want to do. That sounds so bizarre to me because I think crews like, you know, chilling out in your, your bathing suit. But like, I think Alaska, like ooh. chilling out in your bathing suit. Yeah. <laughs> different kind of chill. No, it's just, yeah, it's a different experience. But I, I'd love to go see, uh, you know, the glaciers and the northern lights and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it'd be fun. All right. Well, here we go. Moose or caribou? Moose. All right. I don't I don't really know the difference, but but but, you know, when you go to uh, that recently went to New England and, uh, you know, well, I got engaged up there right a year ago right. uh, yeah, yeah. now. And so uh, the in-laws live in New Hampshire. Beautiful. And of course, they've got mooses everywhere. Um, and uh, that's kind of their thing. So I, yeah, I'll go with moose. You know, the thing is, I feel like Canada kind of has like the corner of the market on moose. You know what I mean? Like if you if you think about a moose, you think about Canada. Yeah. You don't think so? Yeah. You know, well, I think. Yeah, like I think Monty's and mooses. Do they have a caribou? All right, now I'm looking at pictures. Okay, you Googled. I, it. I had to Google. Okay. A uh, caribou, it seems to me, has not quite the thickness of the antlers. Is it more like a like a reindeer? Looks like a reindeer. Okay. Um, or okay. what I would I would perceive a reindeer to be. Yeah. Having not we basically it. know nothing. We know nothing. We, we're, 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 we're basing all this on conjecture. Yeah. We're, we're we're in Mississippi. If anybody is like, you know, adequately informed enough to have this particular quick fire question, it's definitely right. <laughs> I'm gonna go caribou. Caribou looks cool. I like it. Okay. Uh brown bear or polar bear? <laughs> uh polar bear. Yeah, because it's wintertime. And it's Alaska. And and Alaska, right. Sure. So I'll I'll go with polar bear. We'll give we'll give it to polar bear. Uh rain or snow. Uh, snow, but only occasionally. But if I had to pick with all things considered, it'd be it'd be snow. Yeah. Yeah. Even in Alaska, it seems like rain would be worse to deal with than snow. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely snow. Uh, shrimp or crab? Gosh. That's um, tough. Yeah, I guess crab. I don't know. I mean, I, I love crab. We just don't get to eat it as often down here because we don't have a as much of it, I guess, around. But yeah, a um, little bit. Being being close coast. to the to the coast, we you know get some good seafood. But I, yeah, I, I guess I guess crab. Yeah, I'm gonna go shrimp all the way, man. Okay. I mean, you can't go wrong with a good shrimp boil. I mean, like crab boils are fun too, but like there's so much work you have to do to get to that little piece of meat. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, no, that's true. And so I'm, I'm uh, having cut my hands enough time on crab. Uh, you go with shrimp. I'm gonna go with shrimp. Okay. I'm gonna go with shrimp. It's delicious. Uh, and then finally, dog sled or bush plane? Bush plane. What's a bush plane? I guess it's just an airplane that is uh you can get in and out of the forest easily. Oh, okay. Interesting. That that is that's what I would think. Anyway. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that's what I would think. Dog sled seems to be a bit more um like iconic. Right. Yeah. Sure. Like a musky, uh, husky. A uh, uh, musky. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the. Uh, you get musky while the huskies bring you across. That, that is the husky's, uh, you know, uh, homeless brother. Right. <laughs> right. Maybe. Uh. Yeah. So I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm dog sled seems cool. Okay. Good. Is that. Is that still a thing though? Yeah. Of course okay. it is. Yeah. All they right. still do that. Yeah. Cool. 
All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've, um, I, I think that, I think that'd be, that'd be awesome. <laughs> or a toboggan. Isn't that a thing? That's not on our quick fire questions, but like, it just reminded me of like a toboggan. I thought that was a hat. Uh, maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great quick fire questions trout and if you can't tell we we know everything there is to know yeah about anything above tennessee no. right <laughs> no. uh but if you got some quick fire questions for us please send them in show at country squire <laughs> we know nothing about anything above tennessee <laughs> I, but like but do we that's funny uh, that's fair when it comes to like environmental that, stuff, that's like. that, that's fair yeah that's fair all right man we got some great listener feedback in uh, man, bear pipes. Okay, this is great. This is what I alluded to at the top. Yeah, of the okay, show. yeah. It says, boys, I think you finally got the right framing for the camera. Who knew that your faces looked like that? I like the new setting. Nicely done. See? That's no, good. Yeah. Bear pipes is, is he likes. Thank you, bear pipes. Yeah, he likes the way that we look. I guarantee it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. And <laughs> good. It, did, it did take us a while to, to get the, the frame right. People, apparently, people didn't like seeing our legs like flying up in the, in yeah. the camera. It wasn't as good. It just took us a little while. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, we we got there, eventually. <laughs> All right, man. We also got a iTunes review in from uh, Bama Country Boy in uh, on iTunes. It says, "Great podcast. I'm a two month old pipe smoker and found the podcast about a month ago. I'm about fifty episodes in, starting from the most recent and working my way back. Love the show and can't wait to get to the shop. Keep up the good work." All right, hang on. I want to do the math on that. So he found us about a month ago, and he has already listened to 50 episodes. That's a year's worth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a year's worth of content in one month. That's intense. Yeah, there's like there's, there's some double and triple days in yeah, there. Yeah, you may you may need to, need to uh, detox. Yeah, you need to listen board. to something else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just mix it up. I don't right? know what the reverse of Country Squire Radio is, but but yeah, that that Cigar Night TV. Wait, City, <laughs> City Night TV. City Night TV. That's 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 the reverse. There you, go. Right there you go. All right. <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, we also have uh, some great comments, too, on the Twitters as we've been doing it. I noticed that we had somebody tuning in uh, in the midst of a sick day. Eric, shout out to Eric, who's actually at home sick today. Yeah, no, that's right. But yeah. The big well, benefit is watching the live show. Also, uh, our friend Portland Paul. Uh, I totally use the zipper pouch for my pipe. Uh, pipe cleaners, lighter, temp, and wind cap, and throw it into my regular messenger bag uh, that I've modified to hold three pipes. And mm. so uh, what Paul does, he's putting all his kind of knickknacks in the uh, zip pouch and then throwing it in his uh, larger pouch, which holds his pipe. So that's that's, right. that's an option, too. Yeah. Also, the really Odilio says uh, 2019 will be the year of Peterson as Law DC takes them to the next level. Great point. Great also, point. the tend, uh, the trends of handmade maker also, the trend of handmade maker to buyer through Instagram will continue to grow. Yeah, so we think That's handmade uh, maker to buyer. So not just uh, you know leather pouches and stuff, but also uh, you know pipes, right? Yeah. lots of uh, lots of incredible pipes. Safe bet, safe call. Yeah. I'm liking. It. I think it's good. I'm digging it. Yeah, I think it's good. I thought you were going to take YouTube, and I was going to take Twitter. Oh, uh, yeah, that would have made a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> There was there was that we we tried it for a while. We we tried yeah. from like from like two seconds. To do that. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't have the YouTube up uh, on unfortunately on this one. So uh, hopefully folks are commenting about how I'm probably not. In how the you're neglecting channel. them? Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, good. My, my bad. That's good. It's my fault. We'll throw it back on me. I, I was distracting both. So it's all good, man. Yeah. All right. So we are, uh, man. This is a uh, great, great. Had fun. Great, yeah. Great good. Topic. Good. A lot. A lot of fun. Uh, so we are. We are, man. We were right here at the the holidays. We've got um, two episodes left in the year. If I'm doing my math right. Uh, we've got a Christmas special in the works. Uh, we've got a uh, wonderful best of that'll probably be the first episode of 2019 of the, of the following. If year. I'm if I'm doing the math correctly, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it may it may become before that. Here's the deal. Normally at this point, I would like to tell you exactly what the recording schedule is going to be like over the next couple of days. I can't do that because we don't know yet what that's going to be yet. But and again, that's probably my fault it's not just your fault it's on me as well like it's been it's been a crazy season yeah it's been a crazy season but but a good season but a crazy one uh so here's the thing we will be posting out to facebook and twitter and all that great stuff so if you've never followed us on social media uh this is definitely the time to do it so you can get a sense of what the live recording is going to be and again this is just a live recording 
the podcast. Yeah, podcast every Wednesday, you know, the exact same. I love the fact that, like, you know, we, we've mentioned this before, but the vast majority of people that listen to the show are podcast listeners. Yeah, we're like, podcast first. That's what we do. It's not even close by comparison. And so every single time we mention recording schedule, they're probably like sitting back, puffing their pipe, like, Psh, I don't care. <laughs> not, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, well, see you on Wednesday. <laughs> so anyway, but one way or the other. So for those of you that do tune in to the live show, we, we know, look, we love, we love interacting with you and, uh, obviously, we've been on a bit of a, a journey over this last past year, let's say. So one way or the other, um, more information to come on social media. Keep an eye on that. Facebook.com slash Country Squire Radio at Squire Radio on Twitter. Of course, you can keep up with us throughout the week. You can follow me. I'm at The Real Bo York. I'm at John David Cole, or you can get us at the shop at at underscore Country Squire. And all that information and more can be found at CountrySquireRadio.com, where you'll also be able to vote for this year's best of categories. We need to get those in quick. Can't wait to see who wins really impressed impressive lineup of, of uh who we've got so should be a lot of fun yep all right that's gonna do it for us for this week man let's Dude, go let's go have a day see you brother all right all right guys had fun y'all man thanks so much for uh for tuning in live yeah. had a lot of a lot of good friends um man i'm sorry i was all over the map this episode that's, you did great uh, you did great yeah we're kind of getting into our, our rhythm here you yeah know? yeah at least i feel like it you well, know I, the, the setup there's a lot of moving parts the setup is uh Im- improving and you know we have people coming in and they kind of stare at us like you know what the, <laughs> the heck's going on See, over there that's and the thing. normally this yeah is, this is and this is just for the live this is just for the live thing normally like I'm, I'm very good at like the camera is here and tuning out the rest of the world. Yeah. For whatever reason today, I'm just like everybody in the squirrel, world, like, shiny red ball. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, and then I'm doing a thing, and then someone looks at me like, ha ha. And I'm like, ha ha. Well, ah. I don't. I, yeah. Maybe, maybe we need to put a curtain up. No, but that, that, <laughs> no, that takes away no, the fun. That takes away from it. Yeah. yeah. I think I just need to be more professional. <laughs> anyway, you're doing great. Bye guys. Bye y'all. See you.